What's up guys? It's Mike, the smoking monkey, getting blinded by the sun again. Let me get into the shade over here for you guys. That's better. So today, as you can see, I've got Big Bertha with me and we've got tons of room inside. We're gonna go pick up my tires and throw them on the Jeep because they're not gonna fit in the Jeep. So I gotta bring this guy. So let's go over there. It's like an hour and a half drive. Not too bad, but not too close. So let's get going. We'll hit the road and let's see those tires that I found. We made it guys, we're here in Norfolk County and I've got about, what's that? Is it gonna show? Come on, focus. Well, it's 5% battery life and I don't know where the heck we are. Hopefully we're gonna be able to get back, but I think we're in the right place because there's a bunch of Cummins Rams out here and he was trying to trade the tires for Ram tires or Ram size tires. So uh, yeah, let's go see what we got and we'll throw them in the back of the Sprinter. Well, I picked up the tires, guys, and I even got a fifth one right here for free because he said grab it if you want it, it's free. I figured it's got a nice YJ rim on it that's pretty clean, and I figured I can sell this YJ rim and make a little bit of my money back. And I actually ended up getting these five for 400 bucks. Now, looking at them, there's quite a bit of tread left on here. They are quite thick and there is a lot of life left you've even got the little like nubby guys still here but the sidewalls look like they have a lot of bite to them and there's lots of tread left on the lugs so i'm really happy with what we got these rims do fit my jeep but they're a little rusted and a little uh, worn out so i'm gonna put these tires on my rims so let's go demount everything balance everything and get her on there and see how it how it looks
that's how you fill one of these. Now I'm gonna finish the other four, or the other three I should say, because I only have three to do. The spare is gonna be one of my old ones. And then I'm gonna take them next door and they're gonna balance them for me. So I'll see you guys once they're done balanced. Cause I'm not gonna bore you guys by mounting the tires. You already know how that's done. You've seen one done. So I'll see you guys as soon as I'm done balancing. Whew, okay, tires are back from balancing. I've probably sweat about a full gallon or 3.74 liters for anybody that doesn't live in the States. <laughs> But uh, yeah, looking pretty good so far. I got the backs on, looking a lot more meaty. Now I'm just gonna drop her down and put on the front two wheels and we'll be good to go. finished and it looks pretty good actually they look pretty mean and we've got our big old chunkers just like I want now nothing left to do but to go actually try them out and I know a few trails that are pretty close by to my place so let's hop in the Jeep and let's go see how they do all right guys we're back home now and I finally got to take a shower and change because I was a complete mess but I rode home on these tires, so I got a little bit of uh, feedback to give you guys. And so far, I've noticed that they ride pretty decent at speed once you get them going to about 20 kilometers an hour. But they are kind of lumpy and bumpy, anything under that. You do really feel all the treads and all the lugs. But that's to be expected. They are mud tires, and these are fairly aggressive mud tires. And honestly, I'm really happy with how they look, how they poke. Uh, I do kind of want them to maybe stick out a little more so we might get some rims with a better offset or a deeper offset and that way we'll get them to stick out a little bit further but for now I think they look great. Uh, there is a bit of a humming and a bit of a road noise to them but that is also to be expected because they are mud tires but let's go for a ride and let me show you guys exactly what they're like on road. Unfortunately, I made a mistake. I'm not gonna be going off-road with you guys today because as you can see how dry everything is, uh, it's been really hot and really dry. It's like 28 degrees today and sunny. It's been like this for two weeks, so we don't really have any mud or anything to go and test them with. <clears throat> so, even if I did take you guys on any trails around here, they're just gonna be pretty much dirt roads and dry right now. So this week, at the end of the week, it's supposed to start raining a lot for two, three days straight. And then we're gonna get some nice mud going and I'll take you guys out with me and we'll test them out in the mud and see exactly how they do compared to my old tires. Because those ones weren't terrible, but they weren't the best. And hopefully these do a lot better. But let's get on the road, let's see how these are on the road. And then at least I can give you guys some feedback of how they ride. So we're going about 60 kilometers an hour and you guys can hear it, it hums. It's not silent, they're not exactly uh, street tires, but it's not insane. Like it's not unbearable or you can't hear yourself talk or anything like that. You can still listen to the radio and drive normally. And then when you slow down, I don't know if you heard it, but they get kind of lumpy and bumpy and they give you kind of a vibrating. But like i said that's to be expected i'm not looking for street tires here but no so far so good i'm not complaining at all if we get them going up to like 80 they do hum a bit but it's nothing insane and the handling isn't actually bad i don't have any kind of uh pulling to the left or to the right it doesn't really make me feel like I'm driving on any kind of weird, like big awkward tires or anything other than just regular tires. You don't feel like you're driving, uh, like, I don't know how to explain it, but they don't drive like they look. They, they actually ride pretty smooth, like, you don't feel anything. Well, there's my gas light yelling at me, but you don't feel anything. Uh, it's still smooth, you can see no vibrating, everything is good. 
acceleration is still there you don't really have any kind of uh, loss in acceleration or anything like that but we shall see how the fuel mileage is I'm sure that that will be a little bit worse than my old tires but it's it's a Jeep man I didn't buy it for the fuel mileage so we'll go for a little bit of a slower drive here just to show you guys what they're like in your neighborhood or in the city and honestly they drive pretty good no issues you don't have any kind of lag at the start and they're not extremely loud like they are louder than regular tires but they're not crazy okay now we're gonna hop on the highway for you guys and i'll roll up the window and sweat it out for a little bit just to show you guys what the road noise is like on the highway because most of my trips i have to take the highway to get to any of my off-roading spots as do most of you guys so let's see what they're like on a long journey fucking sweat box time straight because I'm not holding the wheel and it doesn't really pull anywhere so that's a good thing but it does vibrate a little bit as you can see the seat beside me is shaking like nuts and yeah so the vibration is there and we're only doing a buck ten so yeah it's gonna vibrate stop for some gas had to break out the old school air conditioner because uh, this thing doesn't come with no AC but I think I suspect I know what's wrong and let me show you guys you see this weight this guy put on here it's not even for an aluminum rim so like yeah it's on there but I don't know how long it'll stay on there and if it's even the right size, but it's five ounces. And if anybody knows anything about weighing wheels, that's a big weight. I got one there. I got one there. Got one there and then a smaller one up front. But I suspect that whoever balanced these balanced them like shit. And that's exactly why we're having issues. But I think I'm gonna hop back on the highway, go for another one or two exits, and we'll see what we get. Because if it is the balancing issue, then definitely it's gonna be uh, vibrating no matter what. But if it's just that the road was a little uneven and the tires are just really lumpy, then uh, like really like aggressive, I should say, then it would cause that as well. But let's hop back on, let's do another little run and we'll see what we get. We're hopping back on now, let's see what happens. It's either that the tires were vib uh, were balanced really poorly or it's just that the road was quite uneven and that's what was causing the vibration because we've, we're going 100 now. It's vibrating a bit, but not as bad as it was. So I suspect it has a lot to do with the road. And I know that the road in this section of highway isn't great because whenever I drive my Jeep here, it's always vibrating me around. So I'll have to keep testing it throughout the week, but I'll let you guys know exactly what it's like once we go off-roading. I'll give you guys a full analysis of the on-road, and then we'll go off-roading and we'll beat the shit out of it, and we'll see if these are actually a lot better in the mud or not. But right now I'm doing 110, and no vibrating really. Like, so far so good. And my old school AC is actually working pretty well. I'm not sweating. Not bad. 
I mainly bought this thing for the trails because once you're on the trail and you're not moving, you're not getting any air coming through the cab. So hopefully this will help us not die while we're out there on these hot days. So far, I'm really impressed with these tires. I'm actually super happy with how they ride. Uh, they're not too loud, at least for me. I don't really mind the noise. Uh, they could honestly be louder for all I care. And yeah, let's go back now. Let's head back to my place because it is getting quite hot in here. And we'll go and take another look at them and I'll give you guys a quick overview of exactly what model and what spec they are just in case you guys are looking for some tires and you're interested in getting something similar. And I guess now you can get a little bit better of an idea with both windows open on how loud they are and Once you're in the cab, it's not that bad. Outside, yeah, they're they're pretty damn loud. And if anybody wants to know about the fan that, that I have, it's actually pretty dope. Got it on Amazon for like 40 bucks, and I just bought some sticky Velcro that you can put anywhere, and then now you got air conditioning. And not bad. For 40 bucks, it does the job, and at least I won't be dying on the trails, hopefully. What tires are these exactly? Well, they are the TRX US or Truxus mud terrains and they are made by Interco, but they are also super swampers. Now, if you look these up, they're made by Interco, but the brand name is super swamper and the size I got was 31 by 10.5 by 15s. And the reason I got those is because that's what fits before I actually lift it. Now, when I do a full flex, it's, it actually tucks this whole tire right in there. And yeah, I actually have a lot of marks on the old one, not this one, but the one that was in this position. There was a lot of cut marks from it rubbing into the fender. So I didn't want to go any bigger than what I had now until I lift it, which is also why I bought these used because I didn't want to go out and spend like 1500 bucks on tires that I'm not going to be using for the whole life of the tire even though I can sell them after I won't get that much for them and I figured why not go out and get myself a lift kit and then get myself the proper tires and bigger tires but first we need something to get us through until we get a lift kit so that's why I got these now let me know what you guys think of these super swampers let me know if you guys have experience with them or anything similar but honestly they're not too bad the road manners aren't terrible they're a little bit loud but you can't complain they are nice and beefy and they also have a good sidewall so hopefully this will give us some additional grip and they are rated for mud and snow so here in Canada I should be able to leave them on all year round as you can see they have these uh, like slits or sifes or whatever I can't remember exact name for them right now but they are rated for snow as well so they should last us quite a bit and they've got a lot of tread life left so I think that these I might even be able to sell after as well so that's about it for today's video guys the tires are on they work pretty well I'm pretty happy with it and honestly I'm exhausted <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking around thank you for watching if you're still uh, if you're still here with me at this point then I really thank you and trust me there's a great video coming up because I'm gonna be sending this thing as hard as I can in the mud this weekend because definitely we need to test the tires out and I'm not gonna wait I want to get out there as soon as I can and it should be raining soon so as soon as it gets nice and muddy out there you know we'll be out there so thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking around and I don't want to say what's coming next but I've got some uh, some big plans for this thing so stay tuned for that so until next time guys ride safe out there peace <laughs>